Well, one engineer boldly goes where few women have gone before, a career in space exploration. As Gil Reyes reports, she and LA's first lady are encouraging other females to do the same. Okay, let's see how we do. The demonstration rover passes the durability test with ease, rolling through an uneven surface without toppling over. But the journey wasn't as smooth. For Jet Propulsion Laboratory flight engineer Mallory Lefland, she remembers her teenage years. But at the time, I was really confused about what I wanted to do. All I knew was that I really liked math and science. I thought, okay, maybe I'll be a math teacher, or maybe I'll be a chemist. And then I would argue with my parents a lot, so I thought, oh, maybe I'd be a really good lawyer. But Lethland pursued her passion, studied really hard in courses made up mostly of boys, and landed a job at NASA's JPL. Her proudest achievement so far, working on the Mars Rover Curiosity Project. On this Women's Heritage Month, Lefland and First Lady of Los Angeles Amy Wakeland encouraged female students to pursue careers in science and technology. We need you. Women are only 13% of engineers and just 25% of people working in computer science and math. And in this city, we can't let that stand. So do what you love, focus on what you love, don't be deterred, and reach for your dreams and live important lives. And the reaction? If you work hard enough, you'll get it. So I'm thinking of going into NASA now. It'll give me a chance to stand out out of all the guys and show them I could actually, actually do this. The LA City Library offers hands-on science programs for young people. And again, this is your library and all of you are always welcome here and our services are free. To help LA's female students reach for the stars. At the LA Central Library in downtown, Gil Reyes for LA This Week. The LA City Library offers more than 500 free STEM programs for young people. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math.